our next guest is best known for battling billionaires, fighting big pharma, and turning C-SPAN into must-see TV. I'd like for you to please explain to the American public why you and four other executives deserve to pay yourselves tens of million dollars each year. I've got an empty whiteboard ready to take down your justifications. Do you not know why you're getting hundreds of millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars a year? What is the justification? I'd like to show the American people. Yeah, our, our compensation is consistent with uh, competitive positions of other Mr. companies. Mr. Broadway, like reclaiming my time. Well, the other guy gets paid too much too isn't a justification. <laughs> From Orange County, California, please welcome Congresswoman Katie Porter. Great to meet you. We've never, never met a We've huge... We've never gotten to meet. I'm a huge admirer. Big, uh, the... Uh, Inflation Reduction Act signed today by the president, kind of a big deal. Definitely a big deal. I mean, we are actually doing something in Washington. That is a big <laughs> deal. It really is, and it's huge. Let, let's talk about what's in that package. Of course, there's the climate part, which is, you know, it's been hot lately. It's life or death. It's life or death. I know. mean, if we don't do something, Orange County is going to feel like Las Vegas, and that would be the end of the world for people in Orange County. We're soft people. <laughs> and there's also... St what's, what's, uh, talk about some of the other parts, like uh, Medicare being able to negotiate on mm -hmm. pharmaceuticals. This is going to save not just seniors' money on their drugs, but it's going to save taxpayers' money. Yes. Money that I hope we plow back into the research and development of new drugs, expanding coverage for people, and making our healthcare system work better for everyone involved. So oh, this that. is big. <laughs> you, you also know it's a huge deal that Congress stood up to Big Pharma. Big Pharma got this ban on price negotiation in the dark of the night. It never should have happened, and it has taken us how many years to get it set back? So this is really about, for me, yes, it's about Medicare, it's about you know, prescription drug prices, it's also about standing up to corporate special interests. Well, how many... Um, when, when you say Congress stood up to the pharmaceutical industry, uh, how many Republicans uh, voted in the Senate and the House? Zero. Yep. So who's standing up for the American people? Oh. Yeah. So, some of us. Some of us. But I have to say, oh. look, Big Pharma has had a grip on both sides of the aisle. Um, and yep. when we've had pharma hearings, both Democrats and Republicans, the night before the hearing, they're out at mixers and taking money from Big Pharma, and the next day they're supposed to hold them accountable? Wait a minute, there are lobbyists in Washington? I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't think, do I think I met uh, uh, one when I was there, yeah. when I was in the Senate. Uh, so we have the climate piece, the pharma piece. Also, we have uh, people on uh, the ACA will be pay, pay a low, lower premium. Yep. So the, part of the Inflation Reduction Act is to make sure that people who get their care through the Affordable Care Act um, are able to continue to afford their health insurance. So to keep those premiums where they are now, otherwise people would have seen a big jump. That is the last thing we need at a time when people are already facing higher prices for food and gas. Now, that must have been an amazing boat to cast. When, there, when uh, I did it with my phone. Because I was actually, for the first time since I was sworn in, Excited to go to Washington. <laughs> and I was excited to take my shoes off for the TSA. I was like, here, have all my devices, have all my... I was really excited. And um, my plane did not take off for several hours. But don't worry, they rebooked me. 30 hours later, would have gotten there 30 hours later. And that makes me, by the way, just like a typical American this summer who's having to deal with that. So I was not able to be present for the vote. I was excited to take a red eye the best kind of red eye, with a connection, um, to get to Washington, Ooh. and that did not happen. <laughs> um, so I, was able, I had to vote by proxy. But I'm not going to let them dampen the joy of this moment. How, this how is, did you celebrate? 
Um, I took all the dishes out of the sink and made my kids Frito pie. And then uh, three, you have three. I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you are a great questioner. Thank you. You, I, and uh, one of the, my favorite things when I was in the Senate was asking questions at hearings. How do you prepare? Because I know you prepare. Well, we start about a week out, which is about as much notice as Congress gives anybody for anything. Mm -hmm. So we start a week out, we know what the topic is, we might know who some of the witnesses are, and we start thinking about what do the American people want to know? What's on their mind? What are they hearing and they're wondering if it's really true? We come up with a list of questions, and when I say we, I mean my staff, who are incredible. Um, nothing gets done in Washington without the staff people the who do the work day in, day out with us. So we come up with a list of questions. Usually I reject all of those. Um, they then come up with a better list of ideas. Um, they sketch it out, um, I'll edit it, and then we'll start role playing. Okay, so you really do this. This is like, it's like murder boards almost? Yes, and so the hardest thing is finding staff who are as uncooperative as CEOs. Because most of these staff people, I mean, I'm their boss. Are they getting they're, better at it? They're believers, they're wonderful human beings, and so they, you know, I'll say, isn't it true that you are paid way more than you deserve? Or isn't it true that you cheated consumers? And the staff will say, uh-huh. <laughs> that's not, that's no. not how it's, that's not how it's gonna go No, you're playing the, the CEO. Room. So, yeah. But what they've learned is the best thing to really model what we're gonna get from CEOs is just to, <laughs> right? I mean, that's sort of the, that's like, there's a lot of that that goes on. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, well, you're no. doing a good job. <laughs> right well, uh, you're just a, a star in the house, and that preparation just, you, you, you see it every time you question, and I'm Well, I mean, I, I really think about it. These hearings are not for my health, definitely not, because I, I tend to drink a lot of Diet Dr. Pepper right before I, I go do it because I get That's nervous. really good for you. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's, it's power juice. And, um, but so they're really, they're not for my health, they're for the American people. So I always try to think about what do people who are just trying to get their kids picked up from school, they're just trying to make sure that their mom took their pills, what do the American people want to know from this executive, from this um, CEO, and I try to get that answer for them. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Katie. Um, We'll be, we'll be right back with music from Los Lobos. <laughs> <laughs>